Scroll down to page 3 and select Demographic Pie Chart. Again, do not take the paragraph symbol and delete. Insert. Chart. Select Pie and OK. Select A1 and then you'll type everything that and I'll pause so that you can type everything that's required for this. You're creating your own chart and notice it's in a mini Excel. Fill in the information as indicated either from the textbook or the ebook and then close out of the mini Excel and then we'll select the job title and instead of job seekers and we'll we'll actually add to it so I'm going to click to the end of job seekers by age group and then you'll click the design tab and choose add chart element and go to data labels and click outside end click the legend at the bottom of the screen and then press delete and add chart elements again and legend and we want it on the right instead of the bottom And then we'll scroll down to the next page, Customer Survey Results, and choose Column Chart. Again, do not delete the paragraph symbol, and press Delete. And then choose Insert, Chart. And OK, so you get the clustered column. Click anywhere in the table above the new chart. Select the, the um, handle, the move handle, so it selects the entire table. And then choose cut. And then click in in um, the Excel spreadsheet double click so it opens double click the chart and then choose chart design click edit data edit data in Excel make it a little bigger and then in A1 control V I'm just going to make this a little bigger so it fits. And then we'll close Excel. So you've taken everything that was in the table and, and put it inside the chart. Go ahead and um, change the chart title to Educational Levels of job seekers and save. Click outside the chart by clicking anywhere in the document and we're going to scroll up to our uh, job seekers by age group pie chart. So select the chart and go to chart format and for the height type in 3 enter and it moved it to the um, top of the page or to the previous page and for the um, the width is 5 and then control E will center it horizontally 
and then click the chart design and select edit data and we're going to change B5 to 2200 and press enter and watch the pie chart readjust and then we'll close the Excel worksheet and we'll add chart element add chart element and we want data labels more data label options and over on the far right select label options from your format data labels uncheck value and then select percentage and then you can close the format data labels window pane in the chart styles click more select style 12 change the color change color to monochromatic palette 4 So click away from the, the um, chart and then with your show height on, go to the paragraph mark on the bottom. Make sure you're to the left of it. And what you want to do is right now there's this empty page. So if you press delete, it'll get rid of that page break. And then we'll scroll to page four to the um, column chart, select the chart, and then choose chart tools design. And we're going to choose change chart type. And we'll click bar and OK. And then we'll choose select data. and then we'll select switch row and column and OK and it switched the, um, the, the legend and the horizontal axis then we'll choose add chart element and we'll select axis titles and we'll go with primary horizontal first and we'll type number of job seekers click any number in the horizontal axis to select them and we'll um, right click and choose format um, chart area. Whoops, I'm going to go back. Right click and it should be format axes. Make sure it says format axes on the top there and we will select in the major text box instead of 500 we're going to type 250 and press enter and close the um, format axes window right click the chart and choose ch format chart area click border down at the bottom so you have more options and for the color of the border choose black text one And for the border width, you want two. And we can close this. And this is going to be, um, you can also close the Excel, um, a save and a submit. Thank you.
before we save I'm just going to view multiple pages and just make it smaller just so you can see pretty much what we have going on here so it is five pages long and it should match the um, the version of the textbook save and submit thank you this is part one we'll continue with um, this is part one of two videos and then we'll continue with the textbook project part two